Well, as we have talked about, and you can see here, inflation seems to be easing. But frankly, that's not really what matters to the average American. This isn't a graph of prices. They're not coming down. This is a graph of inflation, how much prices are rising. In other words, anything above zero right here means prices are still going up. You can see that from the consumer price index itself, which is what inflation numbers are based off of. Now remember, prices of individual things can rise and fall dramatically, but over time, prices for everything trend up. And you can even see how that trend started to accelerate a little bit at the start of the pandemic. So relief is probably not coming from lower prices, but where would it come from, if anywhere? Hopefully, your wages. Remember, prices for everything trend up over time, including your labor. We need wages to rise faster than inflation. But are they? Well, here again, I've got year-over-year -year inflation in blue and year-over-year -year hourly wage growth is in orange. So in other words, so long as the orange is above the blue, workers are beating inflation. And going back to 2014, that was often the case. And that means they're getting more for their dollar. But look how haywire things got right at the start of the pandemic. First of all, that huge orange spike in wages, that wasn't good news. So many low-wage workers lost their job at the start of the pandemic that it artificially raised the average. And once it corrected a year later and inflation took over, that trend reversed and it has stayed that way. So if you were to combine these two lines into one easy to read number, here it is. The government tracks it. It's called real average hourly earnings. If that number is above zero, which is right here, that means workers are gaining ground. But look over on the right side. For the last 22 months now, it's been below zero. Workers have been losing ground. So forget about where inflation stands. That's where workers really stand. I'm Tim Lammers, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.